Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on proving a trig identity. Let's get started. This is the left hand side. Left hand side is equal to 1 minus cosine of 2x divided by 1 minus sine square x. There's a couple important identity that's very important for trig students to know. And one of them is this. Cosine of 2x is equal to cosine square x minus sine square x. Okay. Now from here, there's a couple different forms. This could be equal to 2 cosine square x minus 1, depending on what you want. Or it could be 1 minus 2 sine square x. A lot of students ask me, well, which one is which and how do you remember that? The base foundation is actually this one. Okay, from there, if you know that cosine square plus sine square x is equal to 1, and then moving cosine x, that becomes 1 minus sine squared x. As a matter of fact, we're going to use it over there. Or you can say sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x. So it's kind of like a cousins. Cosine squared x plus sine, that's equal to 1. If it's a minus, cosine is the Think of it as a selfish one. It always wants to go in the front. Then it becomes cosine of twice of x. Now, if you're interested in figuring out how this one is true, you're going to use the sum of angles. Okay, now let's get back to over here. So obviously, we have 1 minus. I, I want to get the 1 canceled. So the best thing to do is this one. So I have 1 minus 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. On the bottom, using the identity over here, we have a cosine square x. Okay. The top gets simplified into 2 sine squared x over cosine square of x. By definition, this is tangent, which is tangent square x, because I have sine squared and cosine squared. Okay. Now, another one common things that I ask my students to remember is this. It's cosine A plus B is cosine A, cosine B, minus sine A, sine B. So obviously, if you have A equal to B, then you have our cosine of 2A, which is double angle, is equal to cosine A, cosine A again, that's cosine square A, minus sine square A. All right, so hope this is clear. This is how we handle double angle and try to prove identity. Again, I hope it's clear. Please comment on YouTube. And let me know if it helped you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you can get more math answers. Together, we can make math fun and easy. Till next time, have a confident day.